Before Black Restaurant Week kicks off, three chefs are cooking meals for the homeless. In Long Beach, I'm Jaish Patel. We have that story coming up. Long Beach Black Restaurant Week kicks in up this Sunday, and three chefs are making an effort for everyone to get a taste of what will be offered. Yes, they prepared meals from their menus for the homeless today. Long Beach community journalist Jaisha Patel tells us why this act of kindness means so much. Pulled pork sandwiches and caramel apple cookies. What more can you ask for? Chefs Kiana Bradley, Vita Virgilito, and Ronnie Woods whipped up all of this food to serve 250 people on Tuesday at the Long Beach Restaurant mission, which helps those who are homeless in Long Beach get food, shelter, clothing, and guidance. Everybody should have a chance to have a hot meal every single day, regardless if they're in a house or if they're un unhoused. Um, if they're sleeping on couches, you know, hot meals bring a sense of comfort for most people. Nonprofit Long Beach Food and Beverage organized the chefs participating and the two feeding sessions. The first for those who are getting assistance from the Long Beach Rescue Mission and the second for those who are still on the street. We do this because we love what we're doing. We like to share what we're doing with other folks. So just why not give everybody a taste of Black Restaurant Week? Black Restaurant Week takes place January 23rd to the 30th. The eight-day event celebrates Black-owned culinary businesses, chefs, and bartenders. These three chefs say they wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to have a meal. I've fed the unhoused before, usually in L.A. We were doing it a lot um, throughout last year, but it's always been kind of drop-off. We never have been um, able to stay, so this will be the first time that we'll be able to stay and serve and actually see the people enjoy what we're making. Those being served say they're thankful. It helps us again to get out of our uh, selves and provide for others. And when we see that happening for us, uh, it's a very joyful feeling. In Long Beach, Jay Chappatel, ABC7 Eyewitness News.